Welcome everybody, it's Wild West Stalker, and let's just get right into it. Here is some of my Black Friday pickups. And the first one I just kind of wrote there is buygoldandsilver.com. I've used them a few times, and they had a good Black Friday deal. Uh, their deal was one American Silver Eagle at Spot. It did say random year. So down there, it looks like I got a 2016. So obviously a Type 1. That is sweet. I don't mind getting deals like that. I did have to pick up just one other silver coin I do not have. Wow, this one's the unicorn coin. Pretty cool. It is two pounds, so this one must come right from Britain. And I think this is their, I don't know, what you call it, a crest? The family crest there in the middle, surrounded by the lion and a unicorn on the outside. Pretty cool. Didn't have this one, so I thought I'd pick it up. And their deal was, if you order, you get a one tenth ounce round free. So it looks like this is a Golden State Mint, one tenth eagle. I know they make this in a one ounce and probably bigger sizes too. So it's got the flag on there, one tenth ounce, three nines fine silver, and Golden State Mint right at the bottom. So not too bad, you know, for free pickup. But my main pickup was actually a special from Atmex. Here, what else do they have here? And some dimes. Okay. So this will be a $500 roll for 20, 20 silver rounds. And this is so cool. Oh, man. Looks like they give you a little plastic protector in there, too. All right. Let's take some of these out. And if you can tell, I really like the Morgans. Here's like a 5-ounce Morgan copper. Just a chunker. Oh, it looks like there's some coloring on the silver, though. Let's take a look at that. All right, so it looks like it's getting just a little bit of coloring, kind of a rainbow pattern at the top there. That's cool. Very proof-like. Looks like it's the HM, so Highland Mint, there at the bottom. And I noticed these go up in value whenever the new Morgans are released. Uh, at the time when the new Morgans came out over the summer... These were sold out pretty much everywhere. And you know what? I like the Morgan coins, but these are one Troy ounce. So they don't have the nostalgia there, but great design. Got a thick neck lady on there. Sweet. Well, let's just take a look at all these, see if any of them have color. Woo. All right. Good looking rounds, though. Very proof-like in the, in the field. Almost like a mirror. And a lot of them have a little bit of color. Kind of a rainbow pattern. So these will probably tone up while they're just sitting inside the tube. Man, such good looking rounds. Oop, look at her. So she got some markings on her face. So cool. Ugh. Full, full tube of silver. Ooh, look at the color on this one. All right, so kind of watch these like, I guess they're almost like a milk spot, but they're kind of showing color. Sweet, let's keep going. Awesome. Now this was uh, the $500 again for a full tube, and they didn't tell you which mint. They just said random mint, I was hoping it wasn't the SI mint where they put the on the re, on the reverse here. They put a little stamp right there, and then you buy a decoder and you place it over the top, and it tells you if it's legit or not. But I prefer this one just in its regular proof-like finish. Man, there's a lot of color on these. Now, if you were early enough, I know they had the John Wick rounds as the $500 deal. They had the regular Buffalo rounds. It just depended on what time of day you were trying to purchase everything and when I woke up this is what they had so you know not too bad of a deal a lot of silver holy cow so much silver this is a fun way to stack silver when it's inexpensive oh that one might have a little color on it let's see 
So I don't know if these are going to tone or not. If that's milk spotting going on, I'm kind of unsure. Last couple here. Looks good. All right. So here's my 20 ounces of Morgan Silver. And I picked up one of these. And this is supposed to be a 90% silver dime roll. And you don't know whether it's going to be all Mercs, all Rosies, Roosevelt Dimes. From what I've read, it's usually a mix or you don't get any Mercs at all. Oh, could you imagine opening this up back in the 60s or 50s and everything was silver? Oh, lucky, lucky dogs. All right, and I did get a tube here. So I'm start putting them in the tube, but I'm kind of curious how many Mercs we ended up with, if any. So let's just start going. Rosie, no. Rosie, Rosie. Rosie. Okay, I'm starting to notice a trend here. Ooh, this one's got some schmutz on it. Good color, though. 1946. A little toning on that one. It's not too bad. Just have to move some of these Morgans out of the way. You're getting in the way, Morgs. Stack them up. Stack it, stack it, stack it. All right. That should do. All right, now I'm just gonna quickly go through here. Did they give me any Merc Dimes? I noticed that if you wanted the Merc Dimes only, you had to pay like a $20 some plus premium. Whoa. All right, so this is a, uh, what, 55, 53. And look at the color on the back of that one. Wow. That's rad. Okay, setting that one aside. That's a cool one. I'm about halfway through and I still haven't seen any sign of my favorite, my Mercs. That's okay though. I don't have many Rosies, so it's kind of nice to have some of these. Jeez, they should just call this a Rosie Roll. Rosie Roll. Okay, this one might have a little color. It is a 52. A little bit of color on it. Okay, we're getting near the, the gritty end here. I don't think there's going to be any Merc Dimes, unfortunately. Still a great deal. So this is $5 face value. Ooh. It's just dirty. 53, rosy, rosy, rosy. Okay, so this is a Roosevelt dimer. That last one is a shiny 64. Oh, come on. 64. Okay, so I got a bunch of rosies. Unfortunately, no mercs. But that's all right. Because look, my buddy Mad Stacker hooked me up. I was watching his stream. Thought I already opened this. Come on. There it is. Okay, so he sent me a Merc Dime. 1944. Cool. And I'm going to add to that some Merc Dimes I won from my friend Silver Seeker. He sent me six. So seven Merc Dimes. That would be a half an ounce just in Merc Dimes. Cool. Now what I've noticed with these tubes is you can usually fill them up and put way more than $5 worth. They always have a little extra at the top. And somebody told me if they don't fit on the cap, let's say your cap is protruding, you could take a Dremel tool and just kind of shave that down. And really stuff these things full. Because I know they hold way more than $5 worth. Okay, well, ain't got time for that. Let's just quick show off my other pickups. Here we go. Check these out. Hentai. See that little symbol right there? That's the hentai. And these are one gram Britannia bars. Gold Britannia bars. That one's stuck. Alright, let's flip it over. Ooh, that looks good. There's the gold Britannia. Obviously one gram. These are four nines fine. They do have serial numbers on them. Let's take a look at that other one. 
And these are on sale, and I don't see these pop up too often. And I'm trying to complete my mini stack of gold. Uh, just to show everybody, I've been trying to collect the one grams. So, like, here's the pan. I need the five gram in that. I uh, some carrot bars that are four nines fine, one gram each. Probably my favorite, the Austrian. This is the prancing horse. So it's got like a holographic symbol that kind of prances when you hold it at the right angle. It's really hard to do. Kind of see it there on the left. See it moving up and down. Those are one gram as well. So I'm trying to get my Britannias to match because I do have one of these five grams. I was going to take a look. Oof. All right, well, the one gram looks good, but man, I need a five or a ten gram now because those are sweet. Looks like they have the exact same design on the back. Just a different serial number, obviously, but they're all four nines fine gold. Way cool. All right, well, those are kind of fun to pick up. All right, and my last pickup is these plastic cases. And you say, what? Just some plastic? Yeah, because I can't find anything to fit my freaking Beskar bars in. So look, one ounce Mandalorian Beskar silver bar tubed. And they're stamped at the top, New Zealand Mint, and NZM on the bottom. So the goal is to fit these in here, because somebody did tell me that you could find a capsule on eBay, but they're $15 for one ounce capsules. That's a ripoff. So my plan is, I didn't know how many of these would hold, so I picked up two. Grab, let's hope these fit. I really do hope they fit. And remember, these are the coins. These aren't generic bars or anything. All right, there we go. I guess bottoms up. There it goes. All right, so they fit. So I'm gonna add the rest of my Beskar bars to this. Looks like I have a whole extra one of these, but that's okay. No big deal. And then my plan will be to close it. And I think I'm going to get some tape around the top to seal it so it keeps the air out. So that's my best guard bar plan. All right. Well, got a little bit of time left. So here, let's take a look at this little piece of gold. Now, it's not as cool as this one and five grammar, but this is the 3.1 gram. I guess it'd be 3.11 gram technically. It's a one tenth troy ounce gold Britannia. And what's really cool about these is they have the security feature right there. And of course, four nines fine too. So queen on one side, Britannia on the back. I'm digging that Britannia. She's pretty. All right, everybody. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. You checked out some of my Black Friday pickups. Totally forgot to show off this knife. Just a cute little cheap knife on Black Friday. A little 1.9 inch blade, you know, for when you need to travel to places like California. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. This is Wild West. Everybody have a good one.